said never they are not our teachers the crusaders are not our teachers we have our own principles we will stand by our principles this is what we are proud of this is what islamic civilization stands for this is what we cherish this is why we turn around and say to the haters and islamophobes no matter how much you try to link islam with barbarity and backwardness and uh, uh, and other uh, you know unpleasant things we will never believe you because we have a history to look up to we have characters like sultan salahuddin we have our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have his companion sultan salahuddin had taken the city of jerusalem from the crusaders in 1187 ce in the month of july after a very long hard campaign trying to unite the muslims under one umbrella so that they can take back the city of jerusalem now when that happened the pope encouraged another crusade to reclaim or retake the city of jerusalem sultan salahuddin ayubi was the sultan then cut the long story short richard having traveled for nearly a year arrived in acre and as soon as he took the city uh there was a battle between the sultan and him uh and there was uh, richard had 3000 muslims as his prisoners and all 3000 of them uh were slaughtered in one day richard was a very fierce character right and he had shown how barbaric he was by killing 3000 muslims in acre right despite that the sultan was so kind to him and he even offered him uh you know fresh fruits if he needed and actually he did send him fresh fresh fruits from his territory and also offered him his physician physician personal physician and there were there were these exchanges between rich not only that sultan salahuddin ayubi rahmatullahi alayhi after richard had failed to take the city he was 6 miles away 6 miles away from the city of jerusalem uh when the sultan was actually inside the city and the the generals of sultan they came to him and they said leave the city okay uh and you know if the city is taken again we can go and we, we can try to take it back the sultan said i will never leave the people of this city never after seeing what happened in acre i will not leave the city of jerusalem alone so the teacher of sultan salahuddin ayubi he uh advised him in fact the sultan asked him what shall i do in this situation richard was 6 miles away and where did richard come from he came from england England and France that's where his army came from because he governed both territories parts of both part part of England and part of France was governed by Richard he had come this far thousands of miles away traveling for years and 6 miles away from the city the sultan and the population is worried that Richard if he takes the city he will do exactly what happened in 1099 when the crusaders took the city for the first time they massacred the entire population right so Sultan approached his teacher Sheikh Bahauddin ibn Shaddad. Bahauddin ibn Shaddad advised him that who gives victory? Who he asked him who gives victory? He said Allah. He said okay, go and ask Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala for respite. And Bahauddin ibn Shaddad who wrote a biography of Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, you must read it. The biography of Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, okay, is written by Bahauddin ibn Shaddad. He writes in this biography the sultan went to the masjid al aqsa and he stood on the musalla and he cried to such an extent that the place of sajda was wet with his tears he was crying. it is beyond me now the crusader king he's a vicious character he has come with a barbaric army and we don't know what they're going to do it is in your hands for some reason richard turned around 6 miles away from the city of jerusalem and he goes back does not even attack the city doesn't even attack the city now historians give a number of reasons why he did that whatever those reasons are we know the dua of sultan salahuddin ayubi was accepted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala imagine can you imagine can you imagine someone came 6 miles away from you and tur- turns around and goes back to france and dies in france yani allah saved the muslims from his fitna but after the city of jerusalem was taken what did sultan salahuddin ayubi do to the people did he do what happened in 1099 the crusaders killed even 
animals, let alone humans. The Jews were killed, the Muslims were killed, and the Armenian Christians were killed in the city of Jerusalem. Everyone was massacred. Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, when he took the city, some of his hawkish generals, they were of the opinion that we should do what happened to the Muslims. He said, never. They are not our teachers. The crusaders are not our teachers. We have our own principles. We will stand by our principles. This is what we are proud of. This is what Islamic civilization stands for. This is what we cherish. This is why we turn around and say to the haters and Islamophobes, no matter how much you try to link Islam with barbarity and backwardness and, uh, uh, and other uh, you know, unpleasant things, we will never believe you because we have a history to look up to. We have characters like Sultan Salahuddin. We have our Prophet Sallallahu We have his companions. We have the Tabi'een, we have our ulama, our, uh, our shiukh, we have our teachers to look up to. They have taught us to be civilized. They have taught us to be merciful, be compassionate. Even when you are in power, your true reality comes to light when you are in power. So Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi paid from his own pocket, sent people back on his expense to places like France and Britain. So when people came back to Britain, you know, Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, within his life, he became a legend. He became a legend. Christians in Britain, in England, they were saying good things. It was impossible at that time to praise a Muslim in Europe. If you did that, the Catholic Church would be on you. How can you praise the infidel? The infidel we're fighting against. He's the enemy of the Christians. This is how things were, black and white. And amazingly, if you want to read books on this topic, how the Europeans viewed the Muslims during the Middle Ages. A very important book I recommend is Islam and the West making of an image. Islam and the West making of an image authored by Daniel Norman. Daniel Norman, a must read for anyone interested in how Islam was viewed and how Islam was, uh, you know, tarnished and maligned and you know completely uh, you know lied against throughout the middle ages and nothing has changed again the media is doing the same thing today today it is not the catholic church it is not the the clergy the monks writing chronicles it is the secular monks or other monks who have come in different guise to spread lies and hate against islam and muslims but Alhamdulillah, we have our history, we have our characters, we have our examples to this day to follow of mercy, compassion and justice. So Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi had a lot of influence in Britain at that time because of his good gesture of letting people go. In one day, Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi, you know, freed thousands of people from slavery, people who were captured after Jerusalem was taken, right? Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi was remembered in good words by the Europeans throughout the Middle Ages. It doesn't stop there. Even after that,